Russia has called Washington's decision to send depleted uranium rounds to Ukraine a criminal act. The U.S. has pledged the armor-piercing tank rounds and its latest $1 billion military aid package. The highly dense radioactive material is effective against armor, but its use in war has been controversial. Some studies of its use by the U.S. and Iraq have linked the rounds to increased health risks. Let's go to our correspondent, Yulia Shapovalova, who is in Moscow for us. Yulia... Has there been any reaction from Russia to this? Well, of course, there's been reaction from the Russian side, mostly highlighting some terrible environmental and health consequences related to the munitions with depleted uranium. Uh, Russia strongly condemned the use of such weapons, opposing the White House statement that uh, the shells did not pose a radioactive threat. And uh, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov has said that uh, the U.S. decision to transfer depleted uranium shells to Kiev is a criminal act, as you said. Uh, he cited hundreds of experts materials published around the world with opinions of doctors, ecologists, chemists about the harm that such weapons can pose to the environment. And he said that Washington doesn't care at all because that particular kind of ammunition will not be used uh, on their territories, but on the territory of Ukraine. And he highlighted the dangers posed by such weapons for people who are fighting there right now and for the generations to come. And also Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova, uh, she also commented on the the dangers of such weapons, with examples dating back to the Yugoslavia war. Uh, by the way, the UN also opposed the use of shells with depleted uranium anywhere in the world. Well, can we expect Russia to change its strategy because of this? Well, actually, the Kremlin uh, commenting on the U.S. plans to continue providing uh, such assistance to Ukraine said that uh, that would not affect the course of this special military operation in Ukraine. It will continue no matter what. And uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin previously warned that Moscow would be forced to respond to deliveries of depleted uranium shells to Ukraine. And uh, back in March, when Britain said it would supply the shells, uh, the Russian president warned that Moscow Moscow would respond and uh Putin followed up several days later by saying that Russia would respond by stationing tactical nuclear weapons in neighboring Belarus. And uh, we remember that Putin and the Belarusian uh, president uh, said in July that Russia had actually uh, shipped uh, some of the weapons there. Yulia Shapovalova there for us in Moscow. Thank you.